So this is one and a half plus half. This is going to start at two inches, uh, negative two inches, and end at negative two and a half inches. Do you get that? No. <laughs> so this is the front face, right? Uh, let me sketch it here. So right now the reference plane is here. So the extrusion end for this sash is going to start here, which is one and a half inches behind the reference plane. So that's start at negative two and a half, at uh, negative one and a half, and the extrusion end is negative three inches. That's for the sash. For the glass, the extrusion end. Uh, the extrusion start is here, which is negative one and a half inches of this sash plus the half an inch that it's set back. So that's negative two inches for the start. And the glass end uh, is negative two and a half inches because the glass itself is half an inch. So that, uh, you're going to do it on your own. It's the same process as this one. Uh, the only difference is the extrusion end, uh, the extrusion start for both the glass and the sash because that one has to be behind this one. And the other difference is that when you go to here, instead of this bottom line being one inch below that, it's going to be one inch above. So this, uh, the bottom of this sash and the top of the other one, uh, they're going to overlap here. So I'm going to stop the video, but I'm going to go through the process uh, if you want to follow, but it's, it's the same process as that one. So I'll go uh, over that uh, without recording, uh, but just know that it's the exact same process. Okay, so now we have top and bottom sash. Uh, let's go to 3D so it looks like that. So this is the bottom that's in front and then the top is behind. I think they may be backwards. Oh no, that's right. I'm looking at the interior. Yes, the, the movable one is the one in the back. So it's the bottom. All right, so now that we have this, make sure you save. And I'm recording, right? Yes. And we're going to go to File, New, Project, Imperial Architectural, so what we're going to do is just test it out on a uh, project file. So we're going to create two types of wall. Oops. One's going to be generic six inch. And the other one is going to be uh, let's do, 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 do generic 12 inch masonry. Then we're going to go back to our uh, family file and we're going to load into project. So one on this wall and one on this one. We're just making sure that they cut through the wall regardless of the thickness and that they show on plan, elevation, and if we change the size of them, let's say that this is four feet. that they all adjust. So it seems like we, we did good. They work, they cut the wall regardless of the thickness. 
and uh, when we change the type they change as well so I'm gonna bring this back oops need to select it bring this back to six feet and we're gonna go to level one so if you look at this it looks like a blob right it's just a really really thick line and if I turn off this it, it still looks a bit complicated but when it prints it's gonna print like that and it's not gonna look good so what we need to do is overwrite the graphics so even if it's cutting through that it's gonna show whatever we want it to show right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna show uh, the frame and the uh, the sash as thicker lines the glass is going to be a single line so we need to go back to our family file close all the inactive views so it's gonna be this one so that we're only left with one view and that's gonna be the reference level so go to the reference level click on close inactive views so we're only left with two views, but this one is from the uh, project file. Going to get rid of this guy. So now we're going to hide everything with the exception of the window frame. Uh, but that's going to be a temporary hide, so just select everything and type in HH. This H H. That I don't even know what that is. Oh, that's the opening. And then the window sash and the glass. So you're just gonna be left with this. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to create lines that are going to sort of override this so what we need to do is go to annotate click on symbolic line and this one is going to be uh, frame mullion cut so it's frame mullion cut And we're going to use just a line and we're going to recreate this L shape, but it's going to be a little bit larger so we can align and lock to the frame. So it's going to look like that. Once we have that, now we can use the align tool and align to be on top of the L shape. Lock. Make sure here you select oops, just align it to that one. Lock that line. Lock that that and that. And I'm gonna pause the video, but you're gonna do the same to the center and the other side. Uh, so I'll start the video once we're done with these two. So once you have all these three done, uh, the next thing that we need to do is the same for these three lines. Uh, but it's going to be a different type of line. So on this one it's the same process, it's just a different type. We go to annotate, symbolic line, uh, but instead of being frame, mullion, cut, it's going to be frame mullion projection. So it's just the one above uh, the one we were using. And again, we're going to be using a line. This one, you don't actually have to create it somewhere else and then align it. This one, we're just going to create it here. It's that. That. This one, and I'm recording, yes. This, 
this, this, and this. So these lines are frame, volume, cut. That's for all these three. And these ones are frame, mullion, projection. It's these three, these three are the same. So let's flex it, see if those lines move with the window. So let's change the width to, uh, let's do four feet. And they move. This one will not move because that is set to be in the middle. Right, so this one will never move. Let's go back to six feet and they still move with it. So once we have that, uh, we need to bring back uh, everything and then just hide what we don't need. So to do that, you're going to click, where is it? It's Which one is it? Yeah, it's this one. Click on temporary hide isolate. Reset temporary hide isolate and everything should be brought back. Uh, so before we trace uh, the window sash and the glass, we're going to select the window sash, the glass, and under graphics section, visibility graphics, click on edit. And we don't want to show these uh, uh, whenever the, uh, it, gets uh, it gets cut on plan. We want to show just the lines. Uh, so we'll create the lines in a minute, but we need to hide this first. So we need to unselect plan RCP and when cut and plan RCP if category permits. And you'll click OK and they should become grayed out. So they're grayed out. If you load this into the project again, click override the existing version and its parameter values. And now they are gone. So we have these lines, and if I turn off the thin lines, I need to change the scale. Let's change it to half an inch equals a foot. Then now the mullions or the frame that gets cut looks thicker, and uh, the lines of the mullion beyond look thinner. Now what we need to do is just trace the, uh, the sash and the glass so that they show up here, and we'll be almost done with this window. So let's go back to the window. This time we're going to hide everything with exception of the window sash. So select everything and type HH for temporary isolate. And it's going to be exactly the same process. So this is going to uh, actually hide the glass too. So we're just left with the window sashes.